Crane Jay. Yo, boo say all. This is your friend James in Olympia, Washington State, United States of America, South Korea. We ball in a low. Let's start with this lesson real quick. Let's let you listen to it in Korean. It seems a little, it seems like some of this is, uh, some of this is left off. In fact, let me find out if some of this is left off. I'm actually save it and press play. Yep, yep, some of this is actually cut off. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know why some of this is actually cut off, but maybe I can delete a little bit. When falling alone, yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Let's see. Ah, there it is. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. We got the whole thing. I had to make it fit in this whole thing. So here's your here's your lesson in Hangul. 행제 여보세요. 하나님은 당신이 부자가 되기를 원하십니다. 하나님은 당신이 치유되기를 원하십니다. 악마에 저항하라. 유한 삼서 1대2 사랑하는 자여. 무엇보다도 내 영혼이 잘됨 같이 네가 범사에 잘되고 강건하기를 내가 원하노라. 베드로 전서 5대9 믿음을 굳게 하여 너희를 대적하라 이는 세상에 있는 너희 형제들도 동일한 고난을 당하는 줄 알미니라 당신을 방해하거나 하나님이 당신에게 주신 목표. 꿈. 열망을 성취하는 것을 방해하는 모든 것에서 구출되어야 합니다. 기도에 들어가십시오. 하나님과 함께 하십시오. 그의 왕국을 완성하십시오. 전 세계에 있는 당신의 형제들은 당신이 자유롭고 부유하고 치유되기를 필요로 하므로 그리스도께서 이 땅을 위해 정하신 것과 반대되는 일과 사람들로부터 그들을 구출할 수 있습니다. So my friends, let us do this lesson. This is so important for us. Um, uh, this is so, so, so important for us. For us to, what we want to talk about today is um, God wants you rich, South Korea. Um, God wants you healed, South Korea. It is so important. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, being healthy, and as thy soul prospereth. God wants you healed. God wants you rich. Why? Because, one, sick people can't do what they need to do. Doesn't matter if you have money in the bank, dreams, and aspirations. If you're sick, you can't even go to class. I mean, who cares about distance learning and studying from home? If you are got a headache and can't concentrate, or you got mental stress because of poverty, there's nothing, you know, then you're not able to function to your best ability. Also, God wants you rich. He does not want you poor. This is the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, the Bible specifically says, I wish above all things, thou mayest prosper, be healthy, and thy soul prosper. God wants you rich, South Korea. Why? Because if you are rich, then you don't have to run to the bank and have some wicked bank person tell you, no, nah, you can't start that church because we're not going to give you the money. Or some bank person saying, no, nah, you can't build that building because I don't. we don't think you can make money with that restaurant because you don't have any money. No, nah, God will get you the money. God will get you the help. Because you need. Go, if you go to God, bring God, get God involved in the process, then God can get you healed if the doctors say there's no help. God will protect you from a virus because God, whether if, whether there's a vaccine around or not. Also, God will God will get you money if you need to get, you know, for instance, even if the, the bank wants to give you the money, if 10 people had already went in line and they don't have any more money, 10 people has, everybody's looking for $10,000, so let's say 50,000 won, I think it was about 20, 10,000 dollars, about 20,000 won, let's say everybody wants 50,000 won and they go in line ahead of you, and you want 50,000 won, and the bank has enough to give 10 out, they want to give you the 50,000 won loan, but they can't because they've already given out 10 50,000 won loans. See, they're not against you, but see, if you go with God, it won't matter how much, how many loans, whether the bank can help you or not. House, education, God wants you rich. My friends, you want to send your friends to the, your children to the best schools or send your friend to the best school come on god get with god get him involved in the process now listen the other thing god wants you rich god wants you healed resist the devil whom resists steadfast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brother in the world all the junk and problems that people are experiencing you can resist the devil in prayer the word of god prayer get with god to declare a declaration you know prayer declaration reading the bible supplication prayer in the spirit why because 
you know, all this stuff is already, you know, accomplished. Everyone's doing this stuff in the world. Everyone has the problem too. So we're you're not not everyone has a problem, but there are people around the world who have the same. They want to send their kids to private school. They want to have better money. They want to raise. But you can resist the devil. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. If it's part of the curse, you have the spiritual capacity and the spiritual right to resist the devil, especially according to Galatians chapter 3, you are redeemed by Christ, you redeem us from the curse of the law. But you must, here's another reason, you must be delivered, you must resist the devil because you need to be delivered from anything that will stop or hinder you completing the dreams, goals, and aspirations God has for you. If you're sick, then you can't do that. If you're poor, you can't do that. You have to resist the devil. You must achieve it. Even if you have to get away from family and friends or parents or grandparents or aunties and uncles who are saying, oh, we'll give you the money to go to college, but you need to take this degree. Because we think you should make it. See, that, no, you need to get away from that. If God wants you to be a doctor and they don't see a future of doctors for you, so they tell you to go in law enforcement because the money seems a little bit more stable. Then you need to get with God and pray. See, this is the cool thing about prayer. You can resist a wicked parent in prayer. You can resist a wicked governor, a wicked mayor, a wicked president, a wicked prime minister in prayer. It's got nothing to do with them. Same thing with anything around the world. So, so don't let even your, your wonderful best friend, if you've had a best friend for over 10, 20 years, if they're talking against your dream, you need to up away from them or tell them, hey, stop talking or just stop talking to them about your dream. Or tell them, hey, I love you, buddy, but we're not going to be, let, I'm not, I can't let you talk me out of my dream. That's resisting, that's resist, you have to resist fear, resist poverty, resist lack, resist sickness and disease, anything that will stop you from receiving what God has for you. That's the authority to believe it. That's what we have in the name of Jesus. Whom resists steadfast with faith. James, the book of James, says, Submit yourself for submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. So get in prayer, get with God, get his kingdom done on this planet. Whatever he's done, get God involved in your your process now. Even for your family. You want to get married, get God involved in the process now. Your brethren around the world, here's another reason why you have to resist. They need you free, healed, rich. So you can help and deliver them from the stuff and from wicked politicians and people. See, if you're rich and there's a wicked principal at one of your kids' schools and you know you have the cash to send that kid to a better private school, you have the money to deliver them out of that. Even spiritually, you have a right to pray and get that person to the wicked you know, dean or you know, principal, headmaster of the school. They can actually get saved and delivered and change all around. But see, if you're delivered and you know what to do, you can help deliver your friends and family and country. And, you know, as the homeless, you can help deliver somebody. But if you are struggling on your own, that doesn't help. And, of course, you can resist and you can protect your family and friends and subscribers and followers if you're rich and you're spiritually strong, know how to pray, and you're healthy, you are able to protect them. Because if someone's laid up in the hospital, it doesn't matter how much money or how much clout they have, they can't call that wicked mayor and say, hey, stop it with those evil mandates. Hey, stop letting the women do that to their babies. Hey, stop. Doing Listen, it's not a joke. But see, someone who's sick can't do that. Someone who's poor, the Bible says the poor man's wisdom was despised because he was poor. I love y'all. Let me be. So wrong, Hale.